A new podcast series about the world of the pipe organ is launching on the 1st of February. The organ podcast from the Royal College of Organists will travel around the UK to bring you the latest news, discussion and initiatives. And we'll be talking to some of the leading international concert and cathedral organists with plenty of surprises along the way. I didn't know what even song was. Some friends of mine were choristers in, in my year, and they used to talk about this. It sort of went over my head. I thought, what, a, what is this thing uh, of being a chorister? I had no idea that this kind of music was possible. I recorded quite a lot of arpeggios, and so I'm on RuneScape's Necromancy. Uh, I'm not a gamer, so I, I doubt I'll ever actually get to hear this in, in context. But it does sound pretty cool. And again, how many people know that an organ could be used in, in video game music? David Wilcox once memorably said, just about the time where Kings was admitting women into the college for the first time, and uh, he did say, well, maybe she should apply for the next organ scholarship. And uh, he said, but the only trouble is she won't have sung the music as a boy, which I was thought was rather amusing. We'll be revealing some fascinating insights as we encounter some of the more rare and distinctive organs of Britain, exploring some dramatic turns in the story of more than 350 years unbroken organ building tradition. Many, many organs have been destroyed. Organ playing was abolished in church. The old Book of Common Prayer liturgy, which had been going since 1549, that was abolished. So the opportunities to use organs in churches just disappeared at a stroke. To nothing. To nothing. The organ was built in 1877 by Kibai as a three manual. And there was much excitement at the time about going to the world's greatest organ builder. But it was very interesting that by the early 20th century, the mood had changed and suddenly we had an organ that was a bit different and unfamiliar, and there was a pressure to anglicise it effectively. And our brief was to put the organ back, not just into good condition, but into original condition, as Kavai Cole left it. That's The Organ Podcast, with me, Mark O'Brien, available wherever you get your podcasts from the 1st of February. <laughs>